Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today is the day 4 for our Palo Alto Panorama series. Today we are going to talk about Panorama Template. So in this video, I will be covering Panorama Template Overview, what is template stack in very detailed manner and also I will show you some kind of example. It's not a full fledged configuration, an example in the lab that how we can create template, how we can create stack. Okay. In the next video, I'll be adding uh, the firewalls and I'll be showing you some of the examples like in a real environment, how we can set up. For now, we just need to understand the concept. So it will be a very short video for you guys. And uh, this is very much important for your interview as well as for your practical implementation okay so this will be helpful when you are implementing panorama in your, in your environment okay so i'll highly recommend you to please watch this video till then also i'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me so without any further delay let's get started So friends, first of all, we'll understand what is Panorama Templates. Okay. So with the help of these two diagram, we'll try to understand what is Panorama Template. Before that, we'll try to understand what is Template. So Template, if I give a very simple examination example that uh, whenever we write an email, we have to type two, then we have to type the subject line, then we have to type the email and then regards or something. So we follow some kind of format, right? Which is called as template, right? Same way, if I want to push some configuration from Panorama, because Panorama is used to store the configuration and push it to the firewall, right? It pushes a copy of firewall uh, a configuration to the firewalls, right? So if I want to push some configuration, I have to follow some kind of template. I need to follow some kind of formats, right? So let's say whenever we turn on templates, there are two configuration that gets appear in Panorama, which is device as well as network, right? So let's say if I create a template, okay? So in that template, I can put some zone configuration, okay? So I have created a template which is uh, which can be stored as zone and HA configuration from the device configuration. Okay. And I can assign this template to firewall one as well as firewall two. Okay. So whenever we configure any zone on panorama or any HA configuration on panorama and push this policy the tra the configuration will be deployed to firewall one and deployed to firewall two so it will be deployed to both the firewalls so i don't need to manually configure this zone and ha configuration to firewall one and firewall two okay so this is how we create a template okay let's say if i am creating template two okay where I am only defining the administrator. So here I am defining the admins and I am assigning this template to firewall one. So whenever I add any admin over here, it will only be pushed to firewall one. It will not be pushed to firewall two. So basically what kind of configuration which we want to push the configuration we can define with the help of template okay so friends now we'll understand what is template stack okay as we have already understand what is template so basically one or more templates when we combine this will become it becomes a template stack okay so basically let's let's suppose I have created let's say template 1 2 3 okay 3 template and if I group them in one 
template which is known as template stack right so what is the use of this template stack okay so i'll give you a scenario to you guys that where it can be very much fitted okay let's say you are introducing a firewall in a new environment let's say in us you are introducing two firewalls okay you have already uk and you have already in india okay now you are introducing new firewalls in the us so what exactly happens so let's say the default configuration the syslog the log settings the response page or maybe for the administrator or let's say sd wan interface policy or maybe qs policy or dns proxy it will always be same so i'm just giving you common configuration so syslog server always be same right dns configuration always be same so no matter let's say if you are opening a new environment a new firewall or a new branch in australia so the configuration of syslog server or dns server is always be same so what i can do is let's say i have created a template okay let's say template us okay and i have created a template let's say uk same way india same way australia something like this okay so and i have created a template which is known as global now i can add this global to all the templates okay india australia so as this is global because this will be applied to all the branches or all the places where the uh, where the firewalls are configured right so now this global configuration like the syslog configuration or a dns configuration will always be same for all the locations right so i can take this template and put it over here so this will become a stack and i can assign this stack to this firewall environment same way i can put it to uk as well as india as well as you uh, australia so what does it mean here is i can have multiple templates i can let's say template 1 template 2 template 3 i can take all this template i can create a template stack and i can to i can assign to device because this is actually need i cannot create a template and i can i cannot every time define the log server configuration uh, the response page configuration or administrator configuration or any qs configuration or dns configuration dscp configuration every time i cannot define it so i can define a global which will be applicable to all the firewalls and i can put all uh, this global config uh, template to all the templates and i can create a stack and i can assign to firewalls like that so whenever i do any changes on this global template it will be uh, pushed to all the firewalls at the same time so it will save your time and it will save your effort as well i'll show you how we can do that in the lab okay so guys let's get into the lab now okay so this is our panorama okay now where you have to go is you have to click on panorama and then you have to go to templates okay now when we create a template we just need to create a name okay so we'll just write a name let's say i will write a name of dns okay and i create another one for let's say log okay now i have created two templates okay now i will talk about this variable later not now okay i'll just create a stack okay and 
I will create a stack saying that DNS and logs. Okay. And I will add the template of DNS as well as logs. So I have created two template. What one is DNS configuration. I can add other configuration for now. I'm just taking as DNS and logs. Okay. And I have combined the two templates into a stack, right? And I will be assigning to our firewall. So only one firewall that I have right now, which I have attached to Panorama for this lab. So I'll just click it. Okay. So done. And if I click, okay. So it has been attached already. Now see this template has two. One is network and one is device. If I remove this, let's say I will delete this one and this also. Okay. Now this will go because I have not created any template. Once I create this template, so let's say DNS. Okay now that will appear so now if i go to template i will do whatever the configuration related to this one it will get pushed to that particular firewall once we assign to a stack okay i will be explaining you in a very detailed manner when we do the practical if you are unable to understand the practical that's fine there is no problem at all once we do the practical you will be able to understand things okay so first we'll take two firewalls and then we'll take four firewalls then your uh, the the pictures will be clear so the next video will be on two firewalls uh, adding the firewalls and creating the template how we can do the configuration all those things i'll be explaining you in the next video Okay, so this was just a concept video for uh, what is the concept behind template and all those things. Later, uh, when we do practical, you will understand very clearly. Okay, so this is what I wanted to show in this video. If you liked it, please give it a like or uh, please do a comment. If you have any suggestions, please do on the comment box or you can send me an email or you can send me a Facebook message wherever you want. Okay, Instagram. Thank you so much for watching and also I'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next.